Finally, Grey Zone Warfare has dropped Devlog 4, and I'm back with another video to share the latest news. It's a nice short one, so let's dive straight into it. Grey Zone Warfare is crafted with precise attention to detail. Lamang's vast world is shaping up to be a masterpiece of exploration and intrigue. But let's kick things off with the heart of Grey Zone Warfare's appeal. It's graphical beauty achieved by cutting edge technology called Scala. Scala? Scala. I'm Aussie, I don't know how to pronounce things. Used for crafting detailed worlds and expansive landscapes in a fraction of the time, incorporating authentic natural behaviors derived from true to life data, every terrain, every structure is modeled from thousands of detailed photos, offering an immersive experience that is as authentic as it is captivating. Now, I've spent a little bit of time when I was in the army doing jungle survival training in Southeast Asian jungles, and it's safe to say that Grey Zone Warfare has delivered in terms of topography. Powered by this new Scala technology, Lamang Island just pulses with life. From the dense foliage of the Southeast Asian jungle to the rugged mountain ranges, every aspect of the environment is simulated with precision, ensuring an experience that's not just visually stunning, but deeply immersive. But Lamang is more than just a feast for the eyes. It's a fallen paradise where survival is key. The island's diverse landscapes aren't just for show, they're tactical arenas where every tree, every building, and every roadblock can mean the difference between life and death. Now, I know there was some concern about bushwookies camping out to steal your sweet, sweet loot, but I really don't think this will be as big of an issue as, say, Tarkov, as it's a lot larger map and I feel campers will more than likely get caught out spending three hours in a bush without seeing anyone. But we'll see how this pans out. The unique triangular geography of Lemang ensures a balanced battlefield for the three PMC factions, each rooted in their own base camp. From these strategic points, you'll need to plot your moves and routes carefully to either try and counter PvP or avoid it. As we have seen in Tarkov previously, identifying allies in these hardcore tactical shooters amidst the chaos of battle can be a real challenge. Venture out of your safe zones and you'll find yourself up against tough AI enemies, which they are currently working on improvements in that regard and other PMCs all fighting for that precious treasure. In the center of it all is this mysterious ground zone, which unfortunately won't be accessible in the first beta, but legend has it only the bravest will uncover its secrets. So I'm anticipating some pretty difficult gameplay in that zone, whether it be boss AI or environmental dangers. But Lemang's charm isn't just its battles, it's in the stories etched into every corner of the map. I'm absolutely loving the lore behind this game, which we won't go into in this video as we've covered it previously, and I recommend you binge watch the Grey Zone Warfare playlist to have a great overview of the game. But the map paints a perfect picture of its history. From the remnants of hasty evacuations to the scars of the past conflicts, Lemang's map tells a tale of beauty, tragedy, and the resilience of its people. In Lemang, every move matters, and as you unveil its mysteries and face its challenges, just remember, this world is yours to explore, survive, and dominate the battlefield. Welcome to the Grey Zone. I'm Timmy Tenders, stay tactical, and I'll see you in the next one.